Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Fulgora. Our Factorio Space Age playthrough is now on another planet, and we are loving it. So I've done a little bit since the last episode. I don't remember exactly where we left off, but I... I really wish I remembered where I'd stopped. I should have written it down. I don't remember if we had set up this thing, uh, Quality Module 2 Recycler, using bots. I don't know if I love the bot version, because um, you can't control it as nicely. But we are working on getting these rare quality twos. And then I also kind of thought about trains a little bit. And that certainly was after we ended the episode. So what I did is I finally grabbed some of the elevated rails stuff. I need to get more. And we ran over here because we're going to need some new scrap pretty soon. And I'm thinking... We can't have very large of a train because there's just not a lot of room on this island. I could go a little bit further, I guess. But I think one, two, one trains are going to be how I bring scrap around. So we'll be able to pretty easily provide solid fuel. And then the other issue is power, right? Because these accumulators uh, have to be on the same island because there's no way to get power across. You can't connect the big power poles. And so... Yeah, so basically we're going to have to have enough accumulators on this island to power the miners. I can always use efficiency in the miners if we absolutely need to. Um, but yeah, at least in this episode I want to try to get the scrap home, so to speak. I guess home is a weird word to use in this context because we're very far away from home. But... Yeah, hopefully we can get enough scrap going that we can provide for all of our needs. Um, one thing I want to do is work on Holmium in this episode. I want to actually, you know, make progress towards winning or whatever it is that we're supposed to be doing. Uh, so that means we're going to need the Holmium resource. And get all these placed. Uh, looks like I'm out of miners. Can I handcraft enough? Need 15. Okay. Yeah, battery-powered trains would be a cool would be a cool thing. Um, let's see. Yeah, I have lots of thoughts. Last night I had to fire up the game for a minute, even after I'd ended the stream, because I just couldn't stop thinking about a quality recycler. So, <laughs> that's how you know the game's good. Um, so I actually did work on one for a little bit, and I came up with this. So this is a, I call it a two ingredient upgrader, although you can't see it very easily. Um, basically it's just a condensed version of what we did with the accumulators, and set up so that there's five assemblers making the basic version of the thing, and then there's just one of each quality. It filters out the things, puts everything into buffer chests, and it can only support up to two ingredients because there's only one belt feeding the five. But we could modify this slightly to make it, you know, more than uh, two ingredients as well. So that'll be the plan at some point to use that for lots of other things. Um, the plan for this scrap is to actually... Uh, what's the word? To actually quality recycle it. I guess we could tap into these two. I mean, this is a three million patch right here. So we might as well get this income. Oh, I'm gonna need more drills. I need to automate drills. All right, we're gonna head back, get some more drills. Uh, I probably should should make those uh, blueprint. What's up, SMO? What's up, Riff? What's up, J7? How's everybody doing? Oh yeah, get that Fulgora music. Mmm, delicious. Um, let's see. Let me make. I think I'm gonna make. Oh, we need automated assembling machines. That's what it was. I knew there was something we hadn't done. Um. All right. So that also means we're gonna need to automate. 
Oh crap, I don't want to handcraft quality modules. I'll have to use some blues for a minute. Stayed up way too late tweaking blueprints. Yeah, all the planets give so much. Do, do a lock. It's really crazy. I feel like we could have gone to any planet first and we would have been very happy with our choice. So it really is cool. So I need to parameter, once I have uh, this going, I need to parameterize some things here. I'm gonna do two assemblers for that and then we're gonna need three more. Because I'm tired of manually doing this, so we need to figure out how to do this automatically. Jerigord, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Welcome, welcome. So we'll do all of these. And then... That there, just in case. And we go click, click, click. And we really don't need 90 and 180. How about 10? and 20. And how about 10, and I don't care about the other stuff. And how about, yeah, that's fine. Um, and then these can be limited to just one stack. I'll let the tier threes go to two stacks. Okay, so then that should hopefully get us more tier three assemblers, which we do have in our requests. I appreciate it, Jericord. Uh, yeah, the new trailer is awesome. Um, I do think they uh, made some sort of mistake. This is such a minor complaint. I don't. Bottom line, it's awesome. 10 out of 10. And then if you're really splitting hairs, there was some sort of mistake in the rendering of it. And, it, and the frames are a little jittery. Like when the screen is panning sometimes, it like jitters. And it's not. It's not like a compression thing, it's actually like a frame thing. So I don't know, I don't know what happened. Uh, some sort of error somewhere caused it, I'm sure. But I do think if you were looking for things to complain about, that could be one of them. But it was a sweet trailer. I'm so excited. I, I thought it was fun that they had a voiceover. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, SMO, I'm sorry to hear that. That's That's really rough. Um, yeah, that's never an easy thing to do. So I hope, I hope your weekend is a good time of memories and yeah, Factorio on Monday will always be a fun thing. Okay, so we need rails. Do I have rails? No, I need more of the, uh, these things, the support rails. And I also am gonna want to use interrupts, I think, for the for the first time on Fulgora. So the general plan is we're gonna have unloading stations and we're gonna have loading stations. And I don't need to do anything other than that because all the resources are the same. <laughs> There's only one resource. I guess eventually I might have trains doing um, transportation of other things around, but like, at least for now, scrap's the only thing I'm gonna be putting on trains. So, cause we can get heavy oil anywhere. So putting heavy oil on trains wouldn't make sense. Maybe putting oil products or other like green circuits or something. I don't know. Something like that. But yeah, we'll get this connected. And we're certainly gonna need more accumulators. Um, I should probably blueprint... Oh, get out of here. I don't want that Fulgora and Lightning Attractor. That's gonna take away from my... Uh, my Lightning Attractors, which actually collects the energy. Yeah, let's just paste this where it fits. Um, and it looks like I need more accumulators. So we are fresh out. Yeah, 
Yeah, SMO, I'm glad you've been enjoying. Okay, so I can switch. So I can go to here, and then I can switch rail layers. There we go. And we can go down. And then we can have our... Uh, whatchamacallit? Station. So this will be the unloading station. Um, if I can find train stops. I guess we don't have any. Let me put train stuff on the requests. Signal. Chain signal. Um, locomotive. Cargo wagon. All right. Do you ever not need more? Yeah, I think we actually have enough on our main island for now. You can see the accumulator charge, you know, percent basically by just watching this. So as long as it's not getting too low, then you that means you have enough. Yeah, so a fuel interrupt station is literally one of the things I was just thinking about. So, because we don't, we don't want necessarily to refuel at the unloading station, though we could. Um, in this case, we certainly could, but I'm going to use interrupts as an excuse to try something else. So we're going to have probably just a lot of... Uh, pass bys I think and by that I mean like I'm not going to do two lanes just yet I don't think I need to so our refueling station can be over here I am really flipping tired of these cliffs oh my goodness Cannot tell. Can I walk up here? I can. Okay. It's just really hard to tell where you can walk and where you can't. Uh, let's see. All right. Big pull. Big pull. Some light over here. And then, yeah, so we'll just do a requester chest. This will be train stop. Refuel. And then we'll do a requester chest here and here. And of course, need to protect. He protect, but he also attack. Uh, take those. Press solid fuel. 500 should do it. And the bots will handle that. Sweet. And then they can refuel all the trains. Uh, let's see. Get off this little corner here. And obviously, like, we'll expand the train network as we go. Notice how it had to go over the deep ocean part. Zero pollution absorption. Oh, no. Could be problematic at some point. All right, so we'll attach those, and then we're going to need signals. I haven't done train stuff on any of these, have I? Um, actually get train signals here. So for now... Uh... Yeah, we need a chain going into that segment. No. Regular to go in. And then a chain to enter. Mm, wait. 
Hold on. Regular there. Chain here. And then a chain here. Chain. Regular. What am I doing? Chain there. Regular there. Yeah, okay. So basically, if there were two trains, one here, it would wait until this area is clear. I This is maybe a terrible idea. Maybe I should actually... It's just so much easier to, to use the rail planner if you're not doing two rails, but this could be a problem. Lightning does not damage rails. Uh, there's no blinking, and we haven't seen it happen at all yet, so I don't think you have to worry about trains and rails, thankfully. Trains, maybe. I actually don't know. Trains might get hit. Um, but I doubt it. All right. Scrap. Load. Pain limit of one. And then we need drills and accumulators. And so the goal, I can't remember if I said this yet, the goal is that we're actually gonna work on upgrading the quality of our recycled scrap. So we're gonna be getting higher quality components the whole time, rather than having to recycle for quality always. Um, so we'll see, notice it automatically did the train limit there. We'll see if that ends up working out the way we want it to, or not. There will be more to handle, obviously, having to deal with a lot of different types of ingredients. So we'll see how that all works out. Okay. I think for now, I'll just go for one output belt. Elevated rails are really cool. Oh, I have an extra signal there. Um, do we need to do anything else? I don't think so. So the interrupt... is fuel needed. Fuel full, fuel of all, fuel of any, solid fuel. When we've got less than 40 left, you'll go to refuel and you'll wait for inactivity. And there's our fuel needed interrupt. And then we go to load and you wait for full cargo or maybe it's been 30 seconds. And then you go to, oop, I named this load. This needs to be named on load. And then you are my train. You are scrap delivery trains. So there's our train groups. Um, unload empty cargo. I don't know if 30 seconds is enough, but should be. 
Or if you've been there for some reason for two minutes, you need to leave. Okay. So it should come over here. Whee! And unload. Yay! All right, we need more accumulators. Let's go grab some of those. And then we'll start working on the holmium. See. Yeah, I decided to keep uncommons and rares just because I needed a larger volume of them than what I was getting before. Because if you think about it, how many uncommons do we need to recycle rather than keeping them to get a rare? So every uncommon you recycle has a one fourth chance to give you back another one. So that ends up being like a one third chance, I think is how the math works out. Basically a multiplier of a third rather than a fourth. So then if you have a an upgrade chance when you recycle components of only 8%, you only have a third of 8% to end up getting a rare accumulator. So you would need 50 uncommon accumulators to get one rare accumulator. Am I doing that math right? Because basically 50 of these would recycle into about 12-ish. Yeah, and then those 12-ish re resources that we get have an 8% chance to upgrade. So yeah, that's that's roughly the, the math is about 50 to one. So I think I'd rather keep 50 uncommons and have one less rare because uh, then I actually have things to put on these islands. So, that's nice. Also, it's nice to have elevated rails because then I don't have to worry about getting run over by them. So, I will take that all day long. Take that and run with it. What was that sound? My phone? I think that was my phone. Yeah, that was my phone. Okay, <laughs> I was like, was that the Factorio noise? What the heck is that? Um, all right, I'm just gonna let the bots do their magic here. And then do I have full coverage roughly of the the uh, lightning here. Because you can get a little bit more power if you have more lightning coverage. So like, if we put this over here, we'll end up with more power. Yeah, so that's what I was getting at with uh, one third versus one fourth, Alor. I'm pretty sure, and this is a gut thing, not a head thing, so I might be wrong, but I'm fairly convinced in my gut that the way the math works out is that if you if you recycle an object and you have a one fourth chance to get the ingredients back and then you make another object with that and then you recycle that. Basically, it's this infinite loop, but eventually it approaches a limit. And I think that limit is it, it basically is one third. So you essentially get one third of the resources back when you're recycling, if you keep looping the recycling. You keep making the accumulators again, and then you recycle that one. I'm pretty sure you end up with a third of your resources back, rather than a fourth. So, and then you multiply that one third by eight, and you get eight thirds, which is just under 3%. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how the numbers work out. You guys can tell me if I'm wrong. Um, But yeah, we'll just keep placing the rare ones. I wonder what, someone's probably done the math, but basically per accumulator, how much average power do you actually get for your base when you do that? No idea. Um, have we automated plenty of assembly machine threes? We have, so let's get these going a little faster. And now, oh, there's so many things I wanna do. 
Let's parameterize a requester chest, provider chest situation here. So what we want is um, basically this to be, let's just pick some things I don't care about. Like coal, well, stone, uranium, fish, and cold fluoroketone barrels. There we go. Yeah, Alor, it's always going to be slightly less than that because of uh, between variance and rounding and stuff, but like that's the limit. The limit is one third, I'm pretty sure. If you end up continuing a full loop of recycling. Okay, so then if we do something like this, and then we copy it, and then we go to parameterize it, So we need different numbers for each of these, if we have any of the same numbers. So we'll do one, two, three, and four, just to make it simple. So now, so what we can do, I can always just hold shift when I do this and then it brings up the, configures, the configuration right away. So the blue belt is the actual recipe. So that's gonna be parameter zero recipe then we want the coal to be the ingredient of zero number one and the value we want to be the stack size of parameter one which is p1 underscore s and then this is going to be the second ingredient this is P2S, this is the third ingredient, no, this is the third ingredient, this is P3S, and this is the fourth ingredient, and this is P4S. I don't know what I'm doing, but I think what this is gonna do is get one stack of each of the ingredients. Will that actually work? Only time will tell. I think that's what this is gonna do. Mall, basic, all BP. So I think when we place this, it'll just ask us what we want to make. And I want to make electric mining drills. And oh my god, it worked! It gets one stack of everything. So assuming I don't like one stack of everything, I'll need to change those numbers. But isn't that just cool? Isn't that just cool? Uh, we definitely want a few more stacks of that. Wow. Parameterization is the future. <sighs> okay, and then... Ironically, I need to put speed modules in the speed module makers. Speed that up a little bit. Um, prod, I should probably automate prod at least, so I have some. Otherwise, I'm gonna regret it later. Um, where did I put that mall blueprint? Where did it go? Where did it go? Did I, did I screw something up? Is it dead? Do we have to make it again? It certainly isn't in here. I even named it, though. Where did it end up? <laughs> what the heck? Is this one of those stupid things where, like, I hit escape instead of... 
I don't know. I mean, I named it. I hit create blueprint, but I never put it in the bar, so it didn't save because this is technically a copy. What what happened here? It had to have been something like that. Um It's actually kind of annoying. Here it says set up new blueprint, but this, it lies. It should say set up copy. Because if you don't put this in your hotbar, it doesn't save it. It's actually really weird. Ugh. Because you hit create blueprint, I pasted it, and then I hit Q, and it disappeared forever. If you don't actually put it in your hotbar, it doesn't save it. That's really weird. And annoying. Like, I sort of get it, because you're just doing copy. When you do shift copy, and it lets you set it up, I feel like that should always save it. But, maybe not. It is still going off of copy-paste. So I guess, I guess that's on me. But that means we have to do it again. So, fun times, fun times. Um, F10 is dead, I think. Yeah, F10 is rip. Rip in pepperonis. Rest in pacha. All right, one, two. And I could do more than three ingredients. Are there things with five ingredients? Or is four the max? I don't, I don't actually remember. Um. Parameter of zero. Number. Formula. So crafting time of parameter zero. Item count of ingredient one. Okay, so wait a second. So I could we could we could get a little fancier with this while we're here. We could do Oh, but see, here's the problem. This is the problem we've run into before. If you do, like, 60 seconds of crafting, that's what it does by default, which is actually really annoying. Because that can be way too many items if the item count is high. So we could do the minimum of... And then two things. You know, three... So it, we, it supports the minimum function. So we could do the smaller of the stack size, which is P1S, or, no, Mint Al, we have not tried that anymore. Um, or we can do the, uh, what's the, the item count of ingredient one, P0I1, So if it needs five of them, and the crafting time is ten, then we only need five of them every ten. That's one second of crafting. So then we would divide by the crafting time, which is P0T. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. We program it now, boys. So, so there is, so that's the items per second, and then we need to multiply that by 60. So that's one minute of production. So this is going to give us the smaller of either one minute of production or the stack size. And then I can change this to P, P0I2 and P2S. Yeah, the fact that this is a 10 character box is uh, very problematic. This should be expandable. This is really... Not a lovely interface. Uh, I love what we can do with it, but this needs some work. It needs to cook a little bit more. Um, P0, uh, it needs to be I3. And then finally, I4, and this is P4S. Okay, so what this should do is 
either grab the stack size or one minute of craft time. Whichever's smaller. Is that what we want? Yeah, if a minute of crafting time would be like 10 stacks, I don't want 10 stacks. I just want one stack. So, confirm, basic, mall, BP, confirm, item to craft. Like, let's say we did copper cable. Then it does 100, because that's the stack size. Whereas if we did that, well, I guess default is not one minute. Maybe it defaults 30 seconds. Let's find an example of... Uh, holy, holy trash slots, Batman. Uh, what's a good example of something that crafts really fast? Like steam engines? Yeah, steam engines probably break the bank. Yeah, so that's 750 iron plates with the normal click. But if I do steam engines now... Boom. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Alright. Uh, hypercoder, that's basically what we just did. I did one minute of crafting time. Um, but not more than one stack of item. You would just multiply the stack thing by two. Yeah. So that's parameterized blueprints. We did save it. Uh, let me put it in the book. And there we go. So drills are done. Was there another item we needed other than drills? I don't remember at this point. And now... At least for now, can you put modules into... It would be cool if you could put modules into buildings from this view. Can you? I don't think you can. <laughs> Your mouth is watering. Yeah, there's so much cool stuff you can do. You can upgrade the upgrade planner. Thank you. Okay. I was like, I know there should be a way to do this. Otherwise, we'd have to re-parameterize the whole thing. Because um, basically, I just want to default to speed modules. So, so then we need an upgrade planner that goes from U to U with module slots. Oh, you can't copy them. Kind of annoying you have to do all four of them separately, but fine. I'll accept. So then we do this, upgrade, this, save. Yeah, shut up and take my money. Um, this is certainly one of those situations. Okay, so... I forget, can I delete this here, or does that then break it? It's in the book, so that won't delete it, right? I always hate how this works. Yeah, I didn't delete it. I took the risk. Um... Yeah, the, the mech armor is uh, in our in our future, but it's 5,000 packs, so it ain't cheap. And we still need to get to the end of this planet. And we are still, eh, maybe not at the beginning, but we're still early on. I guess we make more speed modules for now. Oh, that's so nice. So yeah, defaulted to what is a minute of production, because that's four craftings. So cool. So cool. Alright, now, back to playing the game. Um, we need more green circuits, I think. So, I'm gonna take... What is excess iron and excess gears, or no, gears are, uh, what are, what are these called? Cable, 
And we're gonna make some green circuits somewhere. Uh, maybe with beacon support. So we can go go real fast. And let's get some green circuits going to supplement our production. And we gotta make sure to put cable on the closer belt. Like so. And then we just need to bring iron. So the iron... Actually, out of iron. Okay. Problem. Yeah, Vatamouse, it's crazy how much this parameterization changes things and and being able to set uh, assembler settings with a wire and read assembler stuff with a wire. Like, half, we got like more than half of recursive blueprints in the base game now. It's crazy. So the problem now is iron. When did that start? I wonder. Probably my absurd amount of... Actually, I don't know what it is. What's spending all my iron? I mean, I know these spent some, I guess. And the drills. Interesting. Doesn't feel like it spins that much, though. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's another way to get iron. But you can't get iron back from steel. So, unfortunately, I don't think there's much we can do there. Hypercoder, I think a 10k SPM base is still going to be harder overall. It'll be a lot faster to make once you're ready, but I, I wonder, I'm guessing the play time to get to 10,000 SPM is still greater than it was before. Because before, you just needed to get a starter base going, get all the modules, and then you could just paste down. A lot of it's designing the blueprints, but if you've already designed your blueprints for mega basing, it's really not that hard to, to just increase things and add to your train network. Now, having to do more on every planet to ramp up your science production, like you can't just do more on Navis. Um, but it's like, oh, I gotta go to Vulcanus to now collect more stuff to make my, to make even more of those packs. So ramping up your overall SPM now requires you to do things on five different planets. So, you can get iron from batteries, we already are, is the problem. Um, so this is just, we're only recycling gears if we have extra gears, batteries if we have extra batteries, and, uh, green chips if we have extra green chips. So, we're only recycling things if we have enough of them already. And same with red chips. So at least for now, I think the issue is we're spending too many resources on these modules, but I set those to be limited. So yeah, we're actually not this is the only stuff we're spending resources on right now. Okay. We just need more scrap recycling, that's what. <sighs> that's what. Oh, jeez. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Riff, I don't think they're saving much UPS. I'm pretty sure all the simulations are done all the time. 
I don't think they're abstracting any of the factory. So this is kind of pointless for now until I get more iron back. But we can at least prepare for when we do have more iron. Plate. 300. Gotta connect it to the green wire because it's annoying. Um, where's the nearest robo port? Okay. And then you only. Enable if iron plate greater than a thousand. Then we'll make extra green circuits from it. How is the novice pollution looking? I bet it is pretty chill right now. We've been going for a little while without any researches. Let's go check it out. There's so many things to do. Um, now this, how do we get there? Map, zoom. It's a very, th it's thinning. Uh, the pollution cloud is still large, but you can tell it's not very dark red in the middle because nothing's running. Yeah, literally nothing's running. It's so peaceful. Factory is still. Except for this. <laughs> this is the only thing that runs. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh man. Would it make more sense to loop your top recycling chain into your sorting loop? There, there's a lot of things that might make more or less sense than what we're doing, to be honest, but I'm not gonna rebuild everything right now. So first thing we're gonna do is just get a higher quality um, whatever it's called recycling going like so I should probably automate these lightning rods. <laughs> I'm still handcrafting them. Um, let's see. Scrap. Recycle, recycle. Okay. Now, there is the option to just put it all in the bot network and let bots sort it out. I'm kind of leaning towards that. I'm kind of leaning towards that. And we could even start making higher quality bots that then can fly longer without charging. Um, when do we get more bot speed upgrades? Oh, sweet. We'll get faster bots once we're done here on Fulgora. That seems kind of nice. Honestly, I say... What is, what is the way to do this? So, here's my thought. What I don't want to do is give bots way more work than they need. So my thought is we have a filter that moves items that we need to trash over to the to the side and we just trash them right here rather than dumping them with an active provider into the bot network and then the bots 
take them to storage, but then we have too many items in storage, and then we have to move the, them with the bots to the trasher. So the, the crap recycling, crap destruction system should be in effect before we put things in the bot system. So my thought is we filter out anything that we already have too much of in the in the network. And then everything else goes into the active providers. The problem is I don't know if we can do that with one filter because if I if I filter left, you can only filter one thing at a time. You can't do multiple things to the left. So we're going to have to have separate filters and then we just turn on or off each one. So I'm basically going to have to do one of these again. We just disable um, each belt based on the network's contents. If that makes sense. And I kind of want this to be extendable, but we can extend down, I guess. So basically something like this. And then these are all based on the network, bot network. And then this is my recycling of crap line. So if we have too much crap, this is crap that gets deleted. Everything else that makes it to here will just go into active provider chests and get thrown in the, into the network, as it is. We will probably need more logistics bots. Wait, oh, there we go. Um, that's new. Oh, lightning can strike your bots. Oh, Tim, we hardly knew ye. Um. We lost a Tim. Need more lightning coverage. Whoa, that's so weird. I wonder what algorithm they used for this. It's very intriguing. It's very forgiving. I actually like it. They're not just plain circles. If they were plain circles, that would be really annoying because there'd be all these little gaps. But it's a very, like, forgiving... Uh, some sort of, if there's two circles close enough. I don't know. It's very interesting. But yeah, uh, apparently you need to have coverage for your whole bot network, though. Okay, so are we going to have to set these all individually? I think we will. Connect, gears, greater, then 4,000, maybe 5,000. Now, this is going to allow through even uncommons that we end up wanting to trash, but that's a much smaller number that the bots should be able to handle. Um, so basically, I need this same idea on all of these. But I need to change it to solid fuel. And we'll change that to 3,000. Uh, this is concrete. 5,000 seems fine. Ice. We'll go 3K. Steel. 5,000 stone. Uh, sure. circuits, we'll say 2,500. Cables, 5,000. Blue chips, 2,000. 
LDS. 1500. Um... Crap. You are right, Dave, and we will figure that out <laughs> in a moment. Um... Wait, what? Yeah, hold on. So what I really need... What do I need? What I need is gears left, this goes straight, this splits, and then merges back again. And we do output priority left. And then that's the one that's got the condition. And then this one could have another, but a different, the next thing. And that would turn that way, kind of like that. It needs to look like that. So it's actually not that different than what we have here. Because these are spaced out the same way. It's just that now we need this to be that one. Okay. This actually won't be that difficult to fix. Um... Basically, we copy these back. And then we just need to change these to output priority left, but no filter. Okay, that should fix it. Um, and then this just needs to be, I'm gonna leave room for beacons here. Yeah, that was far easier uh, to fix than I anticipated it would be. So that was nice. Beacons, and then this, and then more of these. This is our delete what we don't need. And craft some more here. I need to automate recyclers. Okay. And then this goes to here. Is that it? No. It should be running right now. It's probably clogged. Let me get a fresh start. Wait. Oh, no. That's the wrong connection on the end. There we go.
Oh, you guys are too helpful. Um, you're right. We should... You know what we should do? It actually works out nicely because we're using two sides of the belt separately. Normally I wouldn't do that, but we can output priority left. Now we can use the other side of the belt for the other types of items we'll get back. But then we need to make this go even further with more types of things. So what are the other types of things we're going to get from the build? Like, we're gonna get iron plates, we're gonna get plastic, we're gonna get, I don't know, five or six other things that I'll just make space for. And then we'll recycle all those. Um, yeah, what are the other things we'll get? I guess green chips would be one of them. So... This should have green circuits. We should probably clear the filter on these. Um, so I don't get mixed up what things I've done and haven't done. Yeah, I forgot. Stack inserters are going to be slow because they're grabbing different types of things. So we're going to need more than usual. The last filter splitter needs to merge back to the right. Does it? Oh, you mean one last. I see what you're saying. Yes. It won't matter yet, but it will when we set that last one to something. Um, okay. So, like, we had too many blue circuits, is what that was telling us. But now, it's gonna send those greens and reds through the same process. And if we have too many greens, it'll send them back home. Um, I guess we need to set up... Reds are already set up. So we should do iron plates... Those are for sure going to show up. What else shows up, y'all? Hopper plates? Um, steel is already on there. Because that, that steel just comes from scrap, so that's already set up. Copper cable, same story. It's already set up on the scrap side of things. Um, probably should add a bunch of storage. Plastic, yes. Too many blue circuits said no one ever until this planet existed. Um, Alright, I know we said we were going to work on Holmium in this episode, but we apparently are pretty far from that. <laughs> um, oh gosh, there's just so many things to do. And yeah, so now that that's done, now I can throw... Oh no, is it going to... Oh man, I need to change all these to any. Is that right? No, no, no. We want specifically normal. Which means all the uncommons are just going to go into the network always. Wait, can I do... Less than or equal to uncommon... 
can, but the problem is we can't enable based on less than or equal to uncommon amount in the network. I am sad you can't do that. I am sad you can't automatically add together like the lower rarities as one number. You'd have to use a decider combinator for that. In fact, even a single decider combinator might not do it. Um, so this wouldn't really work. So we'll just keep it normal. Okay. So then we said we wanted to quality up these bad boys. So now we're going to see uncommon bits and bobs coming out. Um Death loop recycling. Yeah, we could use quality and then just sort out uncommons and put those in the network. Uncommons and rares. Um, certainly an option. But yeah, let me add some more accumulators because we were already struggling with power. And... Lightning protection, maybe. And then beacons. We still haven't automated, so let's get that done. Oh, wait. It's so easy now. I can just click this and click this and say beacon and move on with my life. That's so cool. So cool. All right. Speed modules. Oh, come back. No, I can't use speed modules. That messes with quality. Ah. Did, did I screw that up somewhere else? I guess we haven't been doing quality in recycling. So it hasn't mattered. I didn't use a speed module on these, right? No, okay. Yeah, I almost... I almost goofed. I'm just so used to setting up speed modules that you forget there's problem sometimes with that. So that means we need more. What that means. Because each one of these is only two a second and I have 45 items a second. So we're gonna need about 20, 22 and a half recyclers. Um, Should work. Why does the speed mess with quality? Um, I presume that they felt it was too strong to be able to speed beacon your quality builds. So, I don't know. You just can't. But yeah, it's time to look at Holmium before the end of the YouTube episode here. So, Holmium plates are just made straight up in Holmium, with Holmium Solution. And Holmium Solution is just ore, water, and stone. So that's pretty easy. We just need chemical plants going into assembling machines. Missing belt in my recycling stack. Um, also, what's the average return? Have we looked with scrap? 
So one item returns to like how many items on average? 2, 23, 24, 28, uh, 33, 37, 43, 47, 54, 55, 60. So you get back 60%. So if you have a full belt, you can't put it onto a half belt exactly, which is kind of funny. Um, uh, let's see. So yeah, okay. So Holmium, I'm sh sitting here also trying to figure out, do I want to quality my Holmium plates or speed or prod or <laughs> what do we want to do with that? Um, so many, so many options. Yeah, let's stay away from our rails to set up our first Holmium. Uh, let's set it up up here or something. And... I think... We'll go with quality for our first Holmium plates. The good news is we can keep Holmium Solution separate, because there is no quality to Holmium Solution. Oh! So there's no quality to Holmium plates. It probably won't let me do this. Wait, why does it let me do this? I'm sorry, you just... There's no quality to the... This one. Weird that it lets me do that. I guess it's not... It's not being picky. But yeah, we can use productivity for this, because we can't get quality on Holmium Solution. So, that would be pointless. But we can put quality in these, so I probably shall. Which means it's a good spot for um, efficiencies, just because you're not doing anything else. So you might as well save yourself some power. Um, but these, I could do speed. For example. Let's see, let's do some ice melting. And then we'll do a requester chest. With, let's go a bit more than that. Let's go 20 and 40. Yeah, it would be nice if it didn't let you, or if it had a warning. Because it does let you put quality modules in something that can't actually have quality. So, that is a bit weird. But yeah, we'll get, we'll get Holmium plates going here. I guess that won't really work. I guess we have to go on this side. Something like this. What am I doing? This is a fluid. I'm like thinking there's fluids and solids. There's only, <laughs> there is only the solids. Don't worry, Crydax. Um, okay. And then I do think we probably want... How do I want to do this? <sighs> like, I don't know if I want to farm a certain amount of uncommons or not. So let's just add in some sort of... Un 
Or no, we'll do normal to the right. Uncommon to the right. So, and we'll just leave some space here. And we'll do an active provider there. Maybe. Yeah, code green, I also wish assembler pipe directions were copied. That would be nice. Um, am I not crafting pipes? Or do I just... Yeah. Looks like a time for our new basic mall blueprint. Boom. Boom. You do need power for it, though. And then while I'm doing it, we also need more of lightning rods. So these are ones that we're going to want higher quality of eventually, but the basics are fine for now. And that one didn't have RoboPort access. Yeah, Code Green, I... I was really frustrated when I heard how locked down quality was. I mean, I had a lot on my wish list for what mods can do with it. And it even some of, we got some early answers like back when they announced the mechanic, which was like a year ago, that a lot of things couldn't be changed. And when I heard all that, I was like, well, that kind of sucks. You cuz you have to use it in such a similar way to vanilla that it just feels very lame like in my opinion, you should be able to set... I mean, there's so many things you should be able to do, and you can't do any of them. One of them... I mean, I'm just going through my list randomly here. Thing number one is you should be able to have to skip, use, or not use any of the particular tiers of quality for any particular item or entity. So you could have an assembling machine that only has common and legendary, and there's no other rarities. Number two, you should be able to set percentages for upgrade uh, separately per recipe. So you could have like your tw your uh, like a multiplier. So you're twice as likely to get gear upgrades for quality than you are to get assembler upgrades to quality. Uh, number three, you should be able to set different recipes for different, you should be able to like set a recipe up so that to make an uncommon assembler, you actually need Olmium plates rather than iron plates. And you should be, so you can actually have a whole different recipe. Now I'm not saying the base game should do that. I'm saying it should be capable for mods to do that. Um, and there's about 50 more things on my list that can't be done. Now, why am I still not getting these? That's because I didn't have enough pipes, right? Um, unfortunately, Riff, I don't think those things will be changed for future releases. There might be a few things that they add in, uh, but I'm guessing it won't be a ton. I think quality is probably not going to see a ton of changes. Just because of what it looks like under the hood. But hey, now I can title the episode Holmium and I won't be lying and you guys will be watching the episode for the first hour and 15 minutes and you'll be like, wait... Why is this episode titled Holmium Plates? He hasn't even said a single word about Holmium. <laughs> uh, but here we are. We got Holmium Plates. Uh, I might need to increase the rate of them or whatnot, but they're going. Uh, so I'm going to keep streaming here, so don't go anywhere if you're here live. But for those of you uh, here for future YouTube recordings, as always, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and enjoy the new end screen.